Meanwhile, House Minority Leader Nancy Pelosi is slamming the Trump administration today, starting with advisor Steve Bannon. What's making America less safe is to have a white supremacist named to the National Security Council. It's a stunning thing that a white supremacist, Bannon, would be a permanent member of National Security Council. Yes, she said it twice. Then, after attacking Bannon, she moved on to the president. He's an illusionist. If you, if you see, now you see it, now you don't. So when the heat was turned up by people turning out at airports throughout the country, probably surprised him, he decided to move up his announcement of his Supreme Court justice. Here to react, Aaron Elmore, Trump surrogate and former Apprentice contestant, and Julie Alvin, Bustle executive editor. So, Julie, how can Democrats uh, attack President Trump's bluster when they say things like this? I don't necessarily think that what Nancy Pelosi said was an example of bluster. Uh, Steve Bannon Calling himself... Steve Bannon a white supremacist is nothing but bluster. He is not a white supremacist. Steve Bannon has specifically said that Breitbart, where he was executive chairman, was the platform for the alt-right. And Breitbart itself has identified the alt-right as a place that believes that separation between culture, between peoples, excuse me, is necessary for the... Julie, that's outrageous. To call somebody who is not a white... That is such a charged uh, statement to make. To call somebody a white supremacist in this day and age uh, is essentially opening up him up for attack. And Aaron, that's why I think it's not only irresponsible for Julie, but also of Nancy Pelosi to say it. Irresponsible? It's slander. Let's talk about Nancy Pelosi for a second. She has the honor and the distinction of being the most well-known, yet least liked person in you know, the Senate and the, and the leadership. And that's coming from pollsters. The Democrats have called her a disgrace. She has flip-flopped on her stance on whether it's Obamacare or the economy. All she's doing is pandering to her political leftist out in California. For her, there is no credibility here. She's not fair. She's not balanced. And Julie, aren't she's you worried about your own credibility? When you, when you think of the same charges that were thrown at the Tea Party, uh, back when they first emerged in 2010. Tea Party was a racist organization. Then you had people like Herman Kahn, black conservatives like Herman Kahn, uh, like, like Alan West, like Ben Carson. How can a black conservative be a racist? Uh, I think that this goes back to whether or not, you know, the alt-right does espouse ideas that are well, similar to you, those you of white nationalism and white supremacism. You can't just paint with a broad uh, brush. Breitbart all of these has said No, but the white point is, is that the same nature. charges were made that now against something called the alt-right that were made against something called the Tea Party, when in fact there are a lot of black conservatives members of the Tea Party. It couldn't be racist. I don't think that that's really the same thing. I think that when a group specifically says, as the alt-right says, that someone like Richard Spencer is one of the people they point to for their ideologies, and Richard Spencer has called for a white homeland so Steve and Bannon for an ethnic cleansing, Steve Bannon cannot, did not say that. Steve Bannon did not say that. You cannot Focus remove on those individuals. things from each other. Don't paint with a broad brush. Uh, frankly, that is what fascists do. we got to leave it at that, ladies. Melissa. All right, we have some breaking news.